Alright then, this is uh, the intruder alarm that I've been making uh, on Circuit Wizard. You may have seen it in one of my old videos, it is a circuit design for it and everything. Well, I now have it in the flesh. Uh, it's not completely programmed. The only bit that's anywhere near completion for programming is the keypad part. Uh, this is the main board and them two chips haven't been properly programmed yet. Uh, so let's just run through it, that's the keypad, this is the main board where everything connects, at the moment I've got a loudspeaker connected up to it. Uh, that's, a power that's the power supply board, which is basically just where everything gets regulated, where the battery gets charged and there are the different fuses. Lots of different fuses. Um, it's powered off AC. Hopefully, uh, I haven't actually powered it up off AC yet. In fact, I haven't even powered any of that circuitry up. It's only the keypad that's been powered up. So this could either go bang or not. Hopefully, it doesn't go bang. So I'll just uh, just like to hang on a second. Just put, put in the oh, Facebook message. Right then, so, basically it comes in, re gets rectified into DC, that moves it out, some uh, voltage reg regulators there, LED to say it's on, charging LED I think, it's that bit's, them bits for the charging circuit, that's 5 volt for these chips here, uh, that bit there's a tone generator, the inputs, resistors for the inputs, uh, and then the link to the keypad. So yes, as I was saying, this could go either way. Hopefully it will work. It should do. I don't have any short circuits, I don't think. So, let's just power it up. Right, well it's lit up. The capacitor isn't getting warm. None of my chips are getting warm. And they're not getting warm. And it's not getting warm. Rectifier's not getting warm. Right, so then these have lit up. I think that means there's a battery fault, which means that there's no battery actually connected. Just go over to the keypad, system open. So the default code, sit like it was on circuit wizard, is 2121. So uh, I've got a glitch in the software there. There we go. Code accepted, please wait. Select function, select set system, yes. Pairing to set, please wait. don't know why that stopped going. It shouldn't have. Don't quite know. I will unset it. System open. Alright. Okay, that's it. Please wait. We'll press no to go to test output. That should go woo woo. He says. See, this is what I mean, the programming isn't complete yet. Um, so, if I set the system... It starts to beep and then it stops, I don't know why. It shouldn't stop, but it is. 
let's just have a look at the basic for that. plays it and then I think it's because the keypad kicks out uh, putting the variable G to zero yes G doesn't want to equal zero yet that's why that's why it's not working just need to serial out that set G to zero serial out right I won't be able to test this now because I don't have the USB lead to download the software so I'll have to do that when I get to school tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good so far. Uh, hopefully once I've got the program finished, it'll work. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, like it or whatever you want to do, I don't really mind.